just the uh, mounting plate go through the heat sink. Okay. On to step six. Uh, let's place the heat sink on top of the CPU. Okay. Let me explain a little bit uh, about the uh, mounting plate. Okay. You need to unscrew the pressure board pressure screw in the center a little bit more okay you mustn't let it like all, all the way screen like this because um, then uh, it will be harder for you to install uh, the venomous X onto the motherboard so you unscrew a little bit just leave a little bit on the outside like this okay Okay, uh, I would suggest you to uh, uh, turn the uh, hexagonal screw on the both side of the mounting plate by hand, just uh, roughly like five turns. Okay, just to get it, the mounting plate onto the anchor uh, bracket mount. Okay, like that. Okay, then use tighten it by the screwdrivers okay side by side to avoid uh, unbalanced pressure okay fairly easy eh? okay it stops Okay. We've also provided this spanner, which you can use if you don't have a screwdriver. But it's strongly suggested to use a screwdriver during the installation because that will get you faster to get uh, your heatsink installed. Okay. On to step seven. Let's attach the uh, 12 centimeter fan onto the heat sink. So first of all, you attach the fan to the heat sink. Uh, on the edges where the uh, fan strips were. Okay? And you pull the wire curb a little bit to make it click the inside the hole on the inside edge of the fan on the four corners fairly easy eh? like that okay then onto the power cable you plug you plug the power cable onto the motherboard you should see a, a, a writing saying CPU fan and that would be the power source for the fan and on to the last stage of our installation process I'll be uh, telling you how to uh, adjust the pressure adjust, adjust the knob on the mounting plate okay you should have an angle wrench which you will allow you to add pressure by turning it clockwise or loosen the pressure in the center by turning anti-clockwise okay so you add pressure by turning the knob on the mounting plate clockwise okay okay you feel a little bit more wobble in the center because this is due to the uh, adding of pressure in center of the CPU. So the more pressure that you add, the more wobble of the uh, heat sink. But this is completely normal, so you don't need to worry about the uh, wobbleness. Okay. But if you are, in case you you are worried, you can lose the pressure by turning it anti-clockwise. Okay.
so that the heat sink would stop moving or it would have less movement okay that's it and that's our installation for our Venomous X CPU cooler thank you for choosing Thermorite